Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jay once again with another tutorial. And in today's video, I'm going to show you the process of upgrading Pop! OS from one version to another. I think that this upgrade process is actually pretty awesome and unique, so I definitely wanted to show it off. And specifically what we're going to do is move from 1904 to 1910 in this video. But unless they change the procedure in a newer uh, version, this process should work fine in newer versions as well. So right here I have my ThinkPad X1 Extreme, which is one of the laptops I use on a day-to-day -day basis. And this is the laptop right here that I'm going to be using to show you the process. So you're going to be actually see a real install. This is not staged. This is actually the installation that I use on this machine on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's going to look a little bit different, but the process will be the same regardless. So let's go ahead and dive in. So here we are on my customized Pop! OS 1904 installation. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is install all of the updates on the current version before we go and upgrade to the next version. That's really important. So let's go ahead and install our 1904 updates. So I'll open Pop Shop here. We can see it's refreshing, looking for updates right now. So up here I have a little number. So there's going to be some packages that need to be updated. So I'll go here. And then I'm going to click Update All. So there's going to be uh, quite a few updates, even though it only shows two. They lump all the operating system updates together, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and click Update All. And then I'll type in my super secret password. And now we're downloading the updates to the local cache for installation. And now we're installing the updates. All right, so all the updates have finished installing, so I'm going to go ahead and reboot. Now the reboot may or may not be necessary. There's actually a particular service that needs to restart, which may or may not restart when you update that package, which might cause the upgrade not to be offered or work properly. So you could simply just restart that process. But, you know, after updating the system, it's a good idea to reboot. So that way your current installation it's, is at its you know, current most up-to-date form in preparation for installing the new version of the distribution. Okay, so I have rebooted my laptop and now we can actually proceed with the upgrade. So let's check out the upgrade process in Pop! OS. So the first thing you want to do is access settings. So we we'll go up here to activities. To start typing settings, it's right here. It looks like this icon. And that'll bring up your normal settings app right here. So if you scroll down and you go down here to details, if there's a new version of the distribution available, you'll get a message down here that tells you that it is available and gives you the option of downloading it. This is one of those things that I love about Pop! OS because they give you a big name manufacturer feel for simple things like upgrading your operating system to the latest version. Because if you're running, say, Windows or Mac OS, you're probably used to getting a message that a new version of your operating system is available. You click on something, it downloads it, and then everything is fine. And we get that same experience here, regardless of whether we're running a System76 machine or not. Regardless of that, we get an option to upgrade right from the settings and we click on it and then we go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and download it. So I'll click download. So if you see this message come up right here, this means that you are using third party repositories. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, some of these are really good. I use uLauncher and KeePass XC. I don't use this one anymore actually because I use the app image. But I do use uLauncher, so I'm going to keep that one. I'm not going to keep this one. If you get a message like this, it's up to you to research if the repository that you're using here, whatever ones may show up in the list, are compatible with 1910. Since Pop! OS is built on Ubuntu 19.10, if the repository was updated for that, then you should be fine. If not, you might want to disable the repository for now 
and then move on and then maybe re-enable it when that repository catches up. But I'll click Accept. So it's 9.03 right now. So we'll see how long this process takes to give you a good idea how that how long that might be. But I will give you the disclaimer that on my Wi-Fi network, I do impose throttling to make sure that no one device can saturate the entire Wi-Fi connection for others. So I think I am limiting this to like 50 megabit or something like that. But that should be fine because it just depends on what the bottleneck is. Is it the Pop! OS repositories or my Wi-Fi? But I do want to mention that I do have that limitation here. So I'm going to go ahead and let this go. I'm going to fast forward the video from here. And then when it's done, I'll come back and we'll see about how long the process took. Okay, so as of 9.10, the download process is complete. So I guess that was about seven minutes or so. Again, since I do impose a bandwidth limitation, I guess it may actually run faster for you than that. So, so now I'm gonna go ahead and click on upgrade, but with any upgrade, it's always recommended that you have a backup of your files in case something goes wrong. I have no reason to believe that this process will fail, but you know, you always do want to be prepared for that. So I'm assuming you already have backups if you're following along with me. So I'll go ahead and upgrade now. And what's really cool, I'll go ahead and center this here. We get a list of features that we can expect to look forward to in the next release. So I'm going to go over this in a review that I will have on my channel very soon for 1910. But when you get this message, definitely read it so you know what new features to look out for in the new release. So I will reboot and upgrade. All right, so the time is now 9.32 and the upgrade has completed. So that'll give you a general idea of how long the process takes. It was a little on the lengthy side, but most of these types of things are, so I guess that's to be expected. But I'm on the new release, so I'll just go back to settings. And I'm here now on Pop! OS 1910. The upgrade has been a success. If you recall, during the installation, it did ask me if I wanted to enable or disable third-party repositories. So let's take a quick look at that. Open up a terminal. And I'm going to cd into Etsy, apt, sources.list.d, and you can see I actually have quite a few repositories in here. But I'll show you what it looks like when it actually does disable one. So the one it disabled, let's just open it up in a text editor here. Should be this one right here, and you can see that it simply commented that one out. So if I wanted to re-enable it, I would simply just uncomment that by just making the deb the first thing there on that line, but I'm not going to do that because I do want this to stay disabled. I'm not going to use this repository anymore, but I wanted to show you guys how to re-enable a repository if you needed to do so. Again, in slash Etsy apt sources.list.d, that's where you'll see a list of your repositories. And you can see I have quite a few here, so I probably should go ahead and clean these up. So for example, in my case, I could do sudo rm anything key pass xc because I'm not using any of that. And there we go. Now I have those ones removed. And then I also have uLauncher, which I actually do still use. I chose to have that enabled. So, and this is what that one looks like. It did not comment this out because I chose to keep that one enabled. But when it comes to third-party repositories, use at your own risk. I do recommend you have as few as possible. I know I'm somewhat of a hypocrite in saying that because I have a few. I just haven't gotten around to cleaning these up yet. But basically, you just download or install the repositories that you absolutely have to have because it has software maybe that isn't in the main repositories that you can't live without. But other than that, 
That is the upgrade process of Pop! OS 19.10, or actually from 1904 to 1910. So unless going from 19.10 to 2004, which is the next release, changes, then it'll be the same procedure when that one comes out as well. So there you go. That was the process of upgrading Pop! OS. I hope that was helpful. And this video was actually a suggestion by somebody in my Facebook group for this channel. So go ahead and join that group if you haven't already done so. We don't have a lot of posts in there just yet, but uh, maybe if I, I keep telling you guys about it, we'll get the number of users ramped up. And if you're already a member in there, uh, there's not a lot of discussions, but go ahead and start some discussions in that group and uh, let's get that going. But, it, but again, this video was a suggestion by somebody in that group who suggested that this be a separate video. I was originally going to make this part of the actual review video, but you know, I think it makes sense to make this a standalone video for those of you that are uh, primarily interested in how this process works and you've just seen it, so hope that was helpful. So with that out of the way, um, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel. I will have the review for Pop! OS 1910 on my channel as soon as I finish editing that, so I will see you when I have that uploaded. Thanks for checking out my video. I really appreciate it. If you found it useful, click that like button, and if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe so you'll see the latest content as soon as it becomes available. If you want to help me out, there's links down below for my Patreon page, as well as links for purchasing my Linux books and also my affiliate store, which has a listing of Linux compatible hardware that I've actually tested personally. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.